morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back if you guys are new here or not. Welcome. My name is Brooke and this is going to be a few days in my life in New York City. I just went to Wegmans over in Brooklyn and I picked up some groceries and some ingredients to make a recipe. It's like 10.30. I'll show you what we got. It's also such a nice day out today. It's like 74 degrees, which is like unheard of for November in New York. Like it's weird. So I'm gonna take this shirt off and then just wear this little set and then sit outside a lot of today. That's gonna be what a lot of today is because I feel like I need to soak up this weather. I've been very into Wegmans lately. I feel like they just have really great produce and it's a really nice shopping experience. So that's where I went. First up, we got some flowers. These are gorgeous, um, very pretty. Always buy yourself the flowers, ladies. It's nice to receive them, but how nice is it to give them to yourself? I used two bags. I only have one reusable bag in my car, but I wanted to shout this out. This is our new merch for Gals on the Go, which is available now. So you can go to Fanjoy and just, I think it's fanjoy.com slash Gals on the Go, or you could just search Gals on the Go on Fanjoy and it will come up. We have an oversharing and overthinking sweatshirt and tote bag for each. We have luggage tags. We have a tumbler, which is super cute. I'm just so obsessed with all of the merch. So this is one of them. And I, so the concept there is like, I'm the more oversharing, Danielle's the more overthinking, good stuff. So I'm gonna make a chili today. I'm really excited, even though it's like the warmest day ever, but it's gonna cool down the rest of the week. And I love chili. It's just such a good filling, hearty meal. So I got some ingredients for that. Turkey, chicken broth. This recipe called for a little bit of brown sugar. So got that. Cheese for the top of it. I got pickles just to keep around. We love pickles. I'm really excited. I'm gonna have a piece of this right now. This is their fresh sourdough bread and it just feels so soft. I know that's so strange to say, but it's their like freshly made. I got a lot of like the Wegmans brand stuff. So hopefully it's good. Oh, I wanna make, um, I'm gonna make the chili and then I'm gonna make a little like tomato, cucumber, mozzarella salad. Cause I found these pearl mozzarella balls, which I feel like I can never find them and I love them. So I got these, I'm gonna do grape tomatoes and some cucumbers and then drizzle it with like olive oil, salt and pepper. It's gonna be yummy. Tis the season, I got elf cookies. This, These were the only like holiday ones they had, but I love them. They're also safe to eat raw, so that's good. I got tortilla chips for eating and then also I love tortilla chips that crumbled up in the chili. Mm, delicious. Onions. I never know which type of onion to get because it called for one onion. So I got a sweet onion and a white onion because I wasn't sure which one to get and I just didn't want to sit there deciding. So I just got one of each to be safe. This is also such a good snack or you could obviously make a sandwich, but I just eat it on its own. The buffalo style chicken breast. Love. More stuff for the chili. It requires a lot of ingredients, but this is also a topping. I got sour cream. I like it in the squeeze bottle because you can like easily just squeeze it on top, garlic. And then it called for diced tomatoes and crushed tomatoes. It also calls for a thing of black beans, which I already had, so yay. I just found this recipe on Pinterest. Oh, and then I got some iced coffee stuff, which I didn't have a coffee yet today, so we have to do that. I got throwback, fat-free ready whip. I just really like the flavor of this one, it's really good. And just Starbucks iced coffee, so. That is my grocery haul. I tried to actually get stuff for meals this time, so good job, Brooke. Elite combo right here, sourdough toast and this specific butter. My God, it's so good. I'm so excited, I'm finally trying Remy's collab with Nut Pods. She sent me her Nut Pods collection and it comes with a bunch of fun Nut Pods. I've actually never tried Nut Pods at all, I think. So I'm going to be trying the unsweet oat French vanilla today in my coffee. Let's do it. The Starbucks iced coffee that I just got. This is Nut Pods, but it's just oat, actually. Oh, it's good. It's like light. I like it. So good. This is the fuel to start cleaning up around my apartment. So yeah, I did miss an upload day this week. Um, just, I got back from Nashville. Honestly, just wanted to have a day to like kind of get my things together. I didn't vlog in Nashville either. It was a pretty quick trip. So, but I'm back now. So who really cares, you know? And this is gonna be a fun vlog. We're actually gonna do a lot of reading in this vlog and I'm gonna catch you guys up on some books I've finished recently too in this vlog, little reviews. I decided to get this green bedding from Brooklyn in this time. I've had white bedding. I can't even say the last time I haven't had white bedding. 
sometimes I'll have like sheets that maybe have a pattern or whatever but my bedding on the exterior has always been white and I saw this on the website and I'm working with Brooklyn and coming up and I was like you know I like it for some reason I was just drawn to it I really wanted a light pink bedding but it, they didn't have it I know they have it sometimes but not at this time they had it I saw the green and I was like ooh, I don't like that and I like it that's the final decision I decided that I like it I like it because I think it ties in the green from there and like the whole room is just super white and it's like we could have, we could do a little flare you know I don't spend too much time in here unless I'm doing my makeup over there or getting dressed or sleeping I don't like hang out in this room but what do we think I personally really like it but I don't love the pillows with it. So let me know what you guys are thinking in terms of pillows. I also have my white bedding from Brooklyn so I could just swap it out and I probably will swap it out. But I actually really like the green for the winter and like the holiday time because I'm probably going to start getting some Christmas decor and stuff. I have still like a pumpkin over there, but I a lot of my Christmas decor is like green and white and like neutrals. So I feel like it would go with this really well. So what do you guys think? Like I said, I just think that the pillows would have to be updated and I just threw, I've been sleeping with my Barefoot Dreams blanket, so I just threw that at the end of the bed. This one is actually the Barefoot Dreams blanket that's from Nordstrom Rack. I think that it's still on sale. I have like the big regular one in the living room and then I got the Nordstrom Rack one and I love it. It was only like 50 bucks and it's a little bit smaller and I actually like to sleep with this one because it's like more of like a personal size. Anyways, I can link that down below. If you guys are interested, that's a really good holiday gift. Speaking of holiday gifts, I've been trying to share with you guys some gift guides and like gift ideas and stuff on all my social media, specifically on TikTok. I'm gonna work on making some gift guides for there. I just posted one for like the guys in your life, like dad, brother, boyfriend, etc. So I've been working on those, but I do want to do a video for YouTube eventually, like gift guide video. So let me know. I'm happy. I think it looks really cute. I should go on the Brooklyn and website because it's, oh, I didn't even mention it's Brooklyn and of course, such as everything, my towels, my sheets, of course, my robe, uh, everything's Brooklyn and. And I got the Lux um, satin bundle because I really like the way that feels on my like body. Oh my God, I love it in the winter time, just getting in bed. Oh, I love it. My comforter is um, actually from Buffy though. I have two, I just swapped them out. I forget that I have two because I keep the other one under my bed. This one's a little more fluffy, I think it's, cloud and then i have the breeze on for the summer that's it for now I tried to steam my sheets because they were really wrinkly so just disregard that but this is what it looks like like it, the pillows need to be swapped obviously for this color scheme but i think the green looks good with the green in the art i'm actually gonna make a second coffee now because i didn't really love that one i feel like the non-sweetness in the milk like i just you know and i was like all right let's try another one so i'm gonna try this almond and coconut creamer chocolate and Not Pods also sent me this super funky looking frother. This part vibrates. So I'm gonna froth the milk at the bottom and then we'll just redo. A little redo. You know, life's too short to drink coffee that you don't like. It's not that I didn't like it. I just am like, I have these delicious Nut Pods. Let's do it up. Wow, this is so cool. Like it's so much cooler than the other frothers I've used. Look at that. Let's see if I added enough. I really wanted to make the chili today, but I just got kind of inundated with work stuff we are announcing a lot of things in the next like two days plus need to plan a podcast plus need to do ads but like i just feel like i have a lot of like emails and things to do oh it's good apparently also they're making now uh like whipped cream things for the coffee i didn't see it at wegman's apparently it's at target but it's like they're like flavored whipped cream toppings people keep tagging me in it they're like oh my god brooke this is so you i need to try it out just refilling my eyes the next apartment i live in not that i have any plans to move i re-signed this lease but the next apartment i live in i would literally die literally die for a ice maker i could also just buy an ice maker they're pretty expensive but you could buy them but it's not as special i want it built in ice maker i feel like in so many like suburban homes and a lot of a lot of just fridges have that built in in new york city it's so hard to find danielle's old apartment had it and i was like oh this is such a rarity i already have like the dishwasher the washer dryer like that in new york is huge but you know what i mean that's good i also really wanted to sit outside because it's such a lovely day but i i guess i could take my computer out there i have to do some email stuff and then i have to record ads so i have my setup here and then i need to plan the podcast for tomorrow get some stuff finalized for merch because I'm like posting my merch stuff, you know, on Instagram tomorrow. 
we're also announcing another live show so let me break down to you guys like the live show details and stuff because I know I briefly announced it in the last video and people were like, wait, I need to catch up on this. So Gals on the Go is my podcast, obviously, with Danielle, if you're new to my channel. And that is what the live show is. It's happening. So we're having a live show on 12-9 at Gramercy Theater. Now that completely sold out. We didn't even announce it on the podcast. We just announced it on social media. And we're like, okay, we'll do the pre-sale. And like, we'll see how it goes. And then we'll announce it on the podcast. And it sold out within like a day. It was very, very quick which I was not really expecting to be honest. Um, we didn't know what to expect, but I'm so, so grateful and thankful and like it was amazing. But there was a lot of concern and confusion, I guess, with the pricing. We set the ticket pricing at $30 for the standard ticket and $50 for the VIP, which gets you a meet and greet. And then of course you add on fees on top of that. So I think with the fees, the base ticket was like $40 and the VIP one came out to like 50 or $60. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, like this is not, supposed to be an endeavor that's like for profit like honestly danielle and i are like breaking even on this i don't know if i'm supposed to say that but i'm gonna say that maybe in the future it would be nice to profit from this but this is really just for fun and like for us to like get out there and try something new and do something that we've always dreamed of and meet you guys and connect and like have a fun girls night out the intention is not to to make a ton of money you know it would be nice to one day but from this but you know we make money in other ways we're good but there was a lot of confusion i guess because people were seeing ticket prices on the website up to like 140 dollars now we didn't know this was going to happen but the website live nation enabled this thing called dynamic pricing which is basically like a supply and demand model of pricing and since the tickets were going so fast they spiked it to like the maximum possible price, which was like $140 per ticket. I don't even know if we're like keeping the profit from that ticket. Like it's really unclear because we didn't like, we, we were like, what's the lowest ticket price we could do? So that is the reason why for that, um, because of the demand. With that being said, we announced a second show. By the time this video is up, we would have already announced it. The second show is on December 17th, which is the following Saturday. So we have a show on a Friday. And then the following Saturday, both at Gramercy Theater. Don't know if the tickets are sold out for that one yet, but we announced a second show. Due to the success of these sales, I'm sure that we will be having more events, not only in New York City, but really all over. People are messaging us now, like, you know, come to Chicago, come to Texas, come to Florida, come to Georgia. And that is the plan, that is the goal, so hopefully. But thank you guys all so much for the support. And people are like, what is the content of the show? think live podcast but we're also going to be telling stories it's going to be interactive there's going to be things on screen things that you know audience participation it's going to be like a proper show it's not just going to be danielle and i like up there the whole time like talking you know i mean i guess we will be talking but it's it will be a show also we're going to say this on the podcast but if you have tickets to the first one there's no need to come to the second one because it's basically going to be the same show it's a lot uh, anytime you launch and go into like any new business venture or whatever obviously there's a lot of moving parts and things to consider it's like things as simple as like we're gonna have a merch table there and we're selling merch but it's like who's gonna sell the merch like you know we have people that are gonna want to be with us backstage and helping us uh, prep and whatever but then we need someone who's gonna sell the merch like we can't be out there selling the merch because we're gonna be backstage and getting our makeup and hair done and like preparing to go on stage so it's just a lot of things to consider all very exciting things but i think every time that we go into like something new it's just like when we started doing merch it was very like oh my gosh like how is this gonna go things that we learn along the way of course and we're still learning as we go there's no like rule book to this sort of thing and i feel like this is where you know being an entrepreneur and that sort of stuff like kind of comes into play but i am so beyond grateful and thankful that i can't like i can't even believe that many people want to come out and see us like i'm just I'm so grateful and we're gonna have such a fun freaking night. I am so excited. Anyways, um, that's that on that. I don't know if you guys even care about the business chats, but I know some of you care about a little bit of the behind the scenes stuff. So I just wanna be clear that this is, it's not supposed to be like, ooh, Brooke and Danielle like want a lot of money. Like it's, uh, you know, we're working on having that not be an issue in the future, but doing it through this company, I guess they do this dynamic pricing model. And I've heard other people have this problem, not problem, but challenge, we'll say. I'm gonna record these ads and then do some stuff on my computer. It's cooking time, people. I did decide to make the chili today. I have like a ton of other things I need to do, but I was like, you know what, Brooke, you deserve a healthy dinner. And I really only ate like the sourdough toast and some of those pearl uh, mozzarella balls. And I'm like, that's not good. I need to like, I'm working on eating real meals i go through phases in my life with this and i'm in one right now where i'm just not eating real meals for no reason other than i just am not preparing for them and planning for them and then i'll be like working on my computer or out running errands whatever and then it hits like 
eight o'clock at night and I'm like, oh shoot, I didn't have dinner and then I'm eating late and then I'm eating before I go to bed. I like to like digest for a little bit. I hate that feeling of having like a super full stomach when I go to bed and it's fine, it's all good. I definitely like eat plenty, don't get me wrong. I'm a snacker and stuff like that too, but I think I just need to get better about proper meals and being like, hey, it's time for, I'm not even a huge breakfast person, so not breakfast, but like lunch and dinner, like I should be eating lunch and dinner, you know? And I should be eating maybe a little something in the morning just to get me going. Anyways, peeling this onion and I guess this is just gonna be like a home vlog, by the way. Hope you guys are okay with that. I know some people are like not into that. Some people like when I am vlogging out and about, but that's just not what today's vlog is. I have my balcony door open. It's nice and breezy in here. It's lovely. I'm hanging out. We're hanging out. I got this chopper from Amazon because Cindy Adams told me to, and I haven't even used it yet. That goes to show how much cooking I've been doing. But I just remembered that I had it and I was like, brilliant. Now I can use it for the onions. I do have um, a press for my garlic. It's a pretty simple recipe I'm doing. I can link it down below. It's like healthy turkey chili or something. Like I said, I found it on Pinterest and totally forgot that I pay for New York Times cooking. So I should have used that subscription, but it's fine. My Nespresso machine used to be here, but it fully stopped working. I tried a factory reset. I tried everything. It just wasn't working. I tried descaling it. It wouldn't even run. So I got rid of that cleared off some counter space. Maybe I'll get another one eventually, maybe for the holiday season. But for now, I just have extra counter space, which is lovely for the cooking of it all. Using my knives from our place. They're really good. I got this knife set last year. I've been progressively asking for the holidays. Not that I have any problem buying it for myself, but I've been progressively asking for more and more like kitchen things for the holidays because I feel like those are really good gifts and like they serve me well with, you know, into my life, which is cool. I think I got these last year. They're pretty good. I'm trying to think what the best method for this will be because I'm gonna put in the chopper. It's a chopper. I'm thinking that I could just cut it long ways like this and then throw it in the chopper. Like, let's see what this does. If I put that then in the chopper. I was like, did I fuck up? No, now it's all chopped. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna do it in like slices so that it's, then it can get diced basically or chopped, whatever we wanna call it. I've been listening to the new Drake album. Hello. And listening to some podcasts and stuff. God. My mom, if she was watching this, would be like screaming right now. All right, let's speed through this and the garlic and stuff. This, this is just purely some prep. Look at this. Then it's just all chopped in there and I could just dump it in. I, I can't like modern technology i really want to get a dutch oven that might be on my holiday wish list too i have a lot of things on my holiday wish list some will be purchased by myself so i just put some olive oil in this cooking the turkey add one to two tablespoons of olive oil and ground turkey brown the meat and then we add the onions and then we add the garlic I love the fact that it's 77 degrees outside the day that I choose to do this. I don't even need to be wearing a sweatshirt. It's, I just have the door open, breezy. This is so crazy. It needs to simmer. I don't have a slow cooker or a pressure cooker, so it needs to simmer for like a really long time. So that's why I was like, I need to, I mean, it's three o'clock and this is like dinner. Probably be like an early dinner, but still it needs to simmer for a while. So. Cause I could like do background work. I think while it's like simmering, you know, like then I don't need to be like, by the way, I saw a comment on one of my latest videos. What brand are these? I feel like I said, but they're Lululemon Align shorts and they are just so comfy. I don't know if they're like the most flattering thing in the world. I feel like they don't really suck me in, but they're extremely comfortable and I love just existing in them when I can. The sweatshirt is from Spanx and the tee is from Cuts. That's my fit of the day. I was gonna try to get a little more dressed up, but that will probably be tomorrow. Today's a, a day for at home. Maybe I could go for a walk or something later. Well, actually probably not because the sun sets in literally an hour. Like I'll still, I'll be cooking and the sun will start setting at like four o'clock because that's just the season of life we're in. It's time to add the onions. Spices. This is chili powder, half cup, which is like a lot. And like hopefully it's not too much. Cinnamon, brown cumin, salt, and pepper. I feel like it's so much, like it's like you have one minute in between the steps, according to some of these recipes. It's like you have one minute to then blend all the spices, then add the tomatoes. It's like, oh my God, I, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. All right, there was a minor intermission there, but 
Now we're gonna add everything else. Cayenne, bay leaf, and chicken broth. Paprika, oregano. I'm not adding cayenne, that was an optional thing. Bay leaf, brown sugar, crushed tomatoes and diced tomatoes. So this, the whole thing goes in, it said. Juices and all. Cause it said 14 ounces and this is 14 ounces. This is 28 ounces, so I'm gonna do half and eyeball it. This is the crushed Italian tomatoes. Ooh, it's splashing, it's splashing. And the thing is, guys, this recipe said easy online. It literally was listed like easy. I'm like, um, I mean, it is easy. It's really just combining everything, but it's like you have to have everything prepped and ready to go. I'm just a wimp, very bare bones beginner. One cup of low sodium chicken broth, simmer for 15 minutes. Okay, now it's time for the black beans, which is the final step. It's going well. This is going well now that I've, I've gotten it under control. It really isn't so hard. I'm just bitching and moaning. But I feel like if you have a pressure cooker or an instant pot, it's so easy because you like literally just dump it all in there. Cooking it over stove top is definitely like a little more, like it's like step one, step two. But overall, it's so easy. And I purposely was like, this is great to make it on Monday because now I'll have so many servings of it for the week and maybe reduce ordering out. So it says another five minutes. It looks really good though. Ooh, we're on my balcony for a good old book chat. It's a little windy out here, so I'm hoping that the audio is okay, but I have the mic like face towards me, so hopefully it's okay. It's just too nice of a day not to be out here. Wow. I wanted to talk about the two books that I read recently that I haven't given my opinion on yet. So first I read The Last Housewife by Ashley Winstead. I'm not gonna give spoilers by the way, so I'm gonna keep it really light. I'm gonna try my best to describe books on this channel in the future well, but not give spoilers because I never want to, like, if you plan on reading it, you know, but I will give a review at the same time. But I also do reviews on my Instagram story. I give, like, my star rating on there, but I feel like that doesn't say the whole picture, you know, because it, it, books have, it, they're multi-dimensional. You can't just be like, I like it or I don't. I guess you could, but, you know. So this one is actually about a woman who went to college and kind of got involved in a cult essentially, which I wasn't expecting. I guess like it basically said that on the insert. And then there is a true crime podcast element as well. She links up with someone that hosts a true crime podcast. And they kind of work together to solve a murder mystery of sorts. A lot of culty things in this and it is very like, kind of like Handmaid's Tale dystopian. It's set in current times, but it's not dystopian. It's just the cult is so intense. And normally I like reading about cults, but I found it a little bit, I don't want to say far-fetched because it could very well happen, I'm sure. A little too far out of the realm of like the stuff that I normally like. The writing on this was amazing though. Like objectively, it's a great book. It just wasn't for me. So I think I gave it three and a half stars. Hopefully that was a good review without spoilers. But if you like that sort of like dark sex and graphic details and stuff in this, culty, then you would probably like this. It has nothing to do with being a housewife if that is, it means anything to you. Last night I finished this one, Confessed by Colleen Hoover. I have read a lot of her books now. I've realized I've read like 10. Not even that I'm like trying to go through the whole catalog, but I, I'm trying to read a lot of them. Well, I was trying to read a lot of them just to really pick my favorites and I really have picked my favorites. My favorites of Colleen's are Verity. My mom was like obsessed with it. She was like, oh my gosh, Brooke, why? This is my favorite so far. And then when she called me and made like a whole deep brief on it, she's gonna read The Golden Couple next, which I read as well. Back to Colleen. So Verity and Reminders of Him are actually my two favorite books by Colleen. This is one of her older ones and one of her, I don't wanna say lesser popular, but definitely not as popular. Oh my God, there are birds. Are they gonna come inside? We're back. I feel like a lot of the Colleen books, like they will be, they're different, but they are somewhat similar. A lot of them are set in like Southern cities or towns. And it's like a similar story of like a, a broken boy that finds this girl. This one had some interesting elements in it. And I feel like it really all came together at the end. Basically, boy meets girl. They really like can't be together. And then you kind of unpack why. And her life, like I definitely like was like jaw dropped at moments of this because I was like, whoa, what? Because just more and more details about her life kind of come up throughout the book. You think she's just like a... a your average gal and she definitely had uh, quite the life so you'll see why throughout the book this was one of the ones that like in the last chapter i was like i was about to go to bed and i was like no i'm, I'm not i'm finishing it like i have to keep going because the end really just like made a full circle and it made me cry so you did your job colleen good job next up i'm going to read pack up the moon by Kristen higgins this was recommended by my friend kenzie i feel like i've read about this before but this is actually the last book i think that i have here that i uh have to be read so i ordered some new ones so maybe i'll do a book haul in this video i want to start 
doing more book content in the videos, like showing you guys me reading and I mean, not showing you, but like reading vlogs and stuff like that. I've been watching a lot of those on YouTube and I find them really peaceful and enjoyable. So if I can provide that comfort that those people provide me, I should do it, right? That's on that. It is 4.15 and the sun is setting. Yeah, watching cool. Kardashians and here's my chili, woo! It's dark outside because I called Mariah and talked to her for a while and then I finally am sitting down to eat it. Let's go. I am showered. Can't wait to get into my nice clean sheets. And I started my new book just outside before. I was like, might as well sit on the balcony for a little bit because it's probably not gonna be this nice of weather for a while again. <laughs> I mean, not that it's gonna be, like tomorrow's gonna be like 56, but it's in the 70s, like that's unheard of, so. It feels like it's so late. It's not even eight o'clock, holy shit, oh my God. Probably because I made dinner so early, but it just feels so late right now. Also with the sun setting early, like I, I, I literally thought it was about to be 11 p.m. I was like, oh, it's gotta be so late. Like did my skincare, did everything. I'm like ready to hop in bed. Tell me that this isn't the coziest setup to like relax and read right now. I'm gonna head to bed, but I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm ready for the day. Well, kind of, uh, mostly actually. I did my hair this morning. I let it air dry last night and then I just decided to add some curls. I'm actually getting it done today. I'm getting a glaze, which is what I get every now and again to get it a little bit darker. It is already pretty dark, but I start to know that I need it. I get it every like month, month and a half or so, month and a half mostly. I know I need it when I'm in the light outside and I start to see red tints to it because my hair tends to go red, which isn't a problem. It looks great, but I just like it to be nice and dark. So I was like, you know what, I'll go and it keeps it nice and healthy and whatever. Anyways, uh, we are recording the podcast today and getting some work done. It's like 10.30 and I just got fully ready because I was like, you know what, let's get moving on the day. This is another piece of merch that's going up tomorrow. I don't know if this is weird and if people are gonna be weird about this, but. I think it's fine because my feet are covered. They are our Don't Text socks. Ah, they come in pink and black. It's a two pack and I think they're for sale for $22. And they're really nice, like thick, high quality socks. I'm really happy with them. And it's not just like printed on, it's like sewn in. So cute, you could wear it with like Uggs and have it shown at the top or you don't have to have it shown. I'm just wearing like jeans today, so it's not shown. And then I'm gonna wear my little Ugg like platform sandals. They're not sandals, what am I saying? They're slippers. But I'm realizing that I didn't even get the ones with the platform. I saw a bunch of people posting them online. They're like, oh yeah, I love the big platform. And I'm like, wait, mine don't look like that. And I realized I got the ones that have less of a platform. They're still super cute. I'm like pretty tall, I'm 5'7", if you didn't know. So I don't need it to be like crazy or anything. But yeah, that's on sale. Like I said, you could just go on Fanjoy and search gals in the go or whatever. Today's election day. I mailed in my early ballot to get that taken care of, but my mom and dad sent me a picture of them like at the polls like early this morning, or like when they were leaving with their I voted stickers. It was very wholesome. Look how cute they are. So cute. I'm gonna see my mom actually later this week. She's coming in a few days and we're gonna spend the whole day together and she's gonna spend the night and everything, which I'm really looking forward to. It got pretty cold overnight and it, I guess pretty windy too because a bunch of this stuff knocked over. Very quick outfit. Vest is Princess Polly, sweaters J. Crew, Citizens of Humanity, and Ux. We gotta go. I'm singing. I'm in a mood. Let's go record. Time to set up. I feel like that episode was so chaotic because we were both like, I know. I know. There was like, brain tab, this open, this open, yeah. and then here's a notification all in our brains. We're getting calls. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was a really good episode though. Definitely Same. go listen to it. We were in good moods. Not that we're never not. No, but we're in especially good moods. And uh, we will, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go now. Can't wait to see new hair. Thanks What's she gonna do? Red, gonna going red, going blonde? What? It's gonna look literally the exact same. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> I brought all this stuff to ship Mariah a package. I didn't have time, so maybe I'll go after this. We'll see. But I have stuff to send her. Hair looks good. Sorry, I didn't vlog on the way home. I just decided to uh, call bed and walk home. It was a really long walk, but I did it. We did it. Um, and and I just heated up some chili for dinner. This is the great thing about having it is that it's ready. We just got the merch stuff up on the Gals the Go Instagram. My brain's running a million miles a minute because I just feel like I have a lot of emails to do and stuff now. 
but I need to write the podcast description. I just have things I need to do. Um, but I really want to eat first. I started like getting like actually shaking hungry because I didn't really eat. I do. The, I, I had egg white bites from Starbucks this morning and a piece of sourdough toast. Like, that's just not enough food for me. I'm going to put this sour cream on it. These containers that I have from Amazon are so good for like reheating. They also have this, which is really nice so that like if you're putting hot food in it, it could like when I put the hot chili in it last night, I put the lids on and then I let it like breathe until it was like... I don't know. I feel like you're supposed to do that. I could be wrong. I don't fucking know what I'm doing. Pardon my French, but literally. Cheese. Clearly, I can't even plan when to eat. Like, something's off. I don't know. I, I'm going to allow myself to sit and enjoy this for a sec. And then we will get going on the work. Look how good that looks. It's 7 o'clock and I'm getting in bed, but I'm working from bed because I have to do all computer stuff. My back is kind of bothering me. I'm too lazy to even take my makeup off, but I did body shower and I have my space heater on because the regular heat isn't on. Just broke things. God, I love these sheets, by the way. I slept on them last night and they are so amazing. I've obviously used Brooklyn in forever, but oh, I could scream and it's amazing. I just want to lay here. I was like, how can I incentivize doing like emails and computer stuff in bed, in a row? I have just been sitting here, like I said, doing things. Why is it so dark? Yeah, I was actually thinking about it recently. I was like, oh, you know, it's the holiday season, which it typically means in terms of just work stuff being, you know, on social media and influencer, like I think a lot of brands get more budget for quarter four and, you know, a lot of pushes around holiday gifting and things like that. And I was actually thinking the other day, I was like, oh, I don't really, you know, like I'm not gonna be too crazy for the holiday season, whatever. I lied. Um, <laughs> A lot of stuff just like I feel like contracts and whatever got finalized this week um, and it's all very exciting stuff and brands that I'm, I love and I'm so excited to be working with but I just wanted to make that call out that this is um, a pretty lucrative time of year for me in terms of work stuff so I'm going to try to obviously keep up with normal and have you know just things integrated into normal content which is what I really try to do and keep it real and whatever but just know that this is typically a pretty busy time of, for, of year for me and then it slows down like January February whatever but um that's just how it goes I really don't say yes to something unless I'm like passionate about it you know or some element of it so I'm very very grateful I just wanted to make that call out because I appreciate when I watch people and they make that call out like hey there's gonna be you know a little bit of sponsored content coming up but thank you really because it's all because of you guys and that's how I uh, afford my life and pay my bills and all of that sort of stuff so I'm very very grateful so I've just been kind of sitting here organizing that and working through everything and it's all good and now it's 8 40 and I think it's time to shut the laptop for tonight because I can wake up and do the rest of the things tomorrow I I was about to say that I'm going to play my Nintendo Switch now, which I can show you. When I'm with Ben, we play Smash Bros sometimes, um, and I used to play Animal Crossing a lot. I played the Pokemon game. I played Pokemon Diamond, but now I'm playing Bratz Flaunt Your Fashion. Yes, I'm aware that this is a game like designed for like teens and tweens, but I really want to like turn my brain off tonight and play this game, and I've heard that it's out. I, I didn't even hear that it's amazing or anything, but I just was like... That sounds fun. I wanted to kind of end off this vlog talking about books again though. I'm a decent way into Pack Up the Moon. It's sad. I mean, it's about a guy whose wife dies and like leaves him a bunch of letters. And I kind of already see what's gonna happen, but it's definitely quite the story. But then for after that, I did pick up two new books. This first one is The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. I've never read anything by her and I've heard that she create, writes like amazing thrillers. And I'm in the mood to read a thriller, I think, after this one because, like I said, this is pretty emotional and heavy. It's about, like, you know, his wife dies. It's very sad. This one says, A recently widowed actress trying to escape a streak of bad press has retreated to peace in the quiet of her family's lake house in Vermont. She passes the time by watching this couple in a house across the lake. One day on the lake, she saves uh, one of those people from drowning. The two strike up a friendship. The more they get to know each other, the more it becomes clear that their marriage isn't as perfect as it seems. And then when the wife vanishes, Casey su immediately suspects Tom of foul play. But what she doesn't realize is there's more to the story than meets the eye. Packed with sharp characters, psychological suspense, and gas gasp, gasp, <laughs> not gasp, gasp-worthy plot twist, Riley Sager's The House Across the Lake is an ultimate escapist read, no lake house required. 
sounds creepy but I feel like this is what I need to break up the like intense romance sad of it all I've heard a lot about lessons in chemistry I know uh, the redheads talked about it I feel like Margot posted about it Emily posted about it maybe Kenzie did too chemist Elizabeth Zott is not your average woman she was the first to point out that there's no such thing as an average woman life is unpredictable which is why Elizabeth Zott finds herself not only a single mother but also the reluctant star of America's most beloved cooking show her unusual approach to cooking proves revolutionary but as her following grows not everyone is happy anyways it says it's funny and cute and stuff so then I'll probably read this one next so these are the next two a lot of book talk in this video I am gonna go play this game which I will keep you updated I'm actually gonna keep you guys updated on TikTok I talked about it on TikTok today I was like downloaded this game clearly I didn't just sit around playing games all day this is I downloaded it in the morning and then now I'm finally playing it at night just so we're clear not that it matters you're allowed to do whatever you want but when I need to like shut my brain off I need to get off my phone and either read a book or get on like some other device like watch Netflix or something. So I'm glad that I have this new game to do that with. I love you guys so, so much. I really hope you enjoyed spending a few days with me and just, I feel like we needed a good chat, a good lengthy vlog to just chat about things and candidly get real about like business things and whatever. I appreciate every single one of you and I'm so grateful for every one of you. Like genuinely, I, I know I say that a lot of people probably, you know, it loses its meaning when you say it so much, but I don't think it should. I love you guys. I also need to wash my face. I'm gonna wash my face, play this game, get in bed, we have another day tomorrow, and another day after that, and another day after that, and the next day, and the next day. And I will see you guys in another vlog super soon. Bye!